Yo, peep these patch notes. We're moving on to the kick side of things. Uh, kick had uh, some new updates go out to their app, which is desperately needed because their mobile yeah, apps app is suck rough. dick. Uh, it was terrible, um, to say the least. Um, and so they added some new big things to it. You do have to manually go, um, at least mine did not auto update. You do have to manually go and update it. Um, but essentially they, they've now come to go to 1.51, um, which they've added, uh, VOD scrubbing, uh, chat replay, a lot of stuff to be able to like view VODs, uh, correctly. They also, there was a horrible thing that I got where like, you could not rotate your screen to go landscape yeah, mode. Had um, that. they fixed that, um, and, and added that in there, they added toggle buttons um rotating the phone uh wait they had a ta taco buttons toggle yeah taco. taco you can hit a button and get oh. a taco yeah. i was it like just, bro it shoots a taco out of its uh, charging port it's great i can add a taco <laughs> button i might move to kick if that's the case man free tacos let's go added uh they added new green emotes sure um added animation to loading and vod clips um just basically a bunch of of new updates that came uh yeah. to the uh the thing the one thing that i want to talk about that we actually don't have in the notes but i, I do want to bring up this and and this is actually something big and um I, i'm gonna i'm gonna call this out like this is the platform that i am streaming on but i'm gonna call it out so kick uh eddie who if you're unfamiliar with who eddie is Snake eddie is the uh owner of kick he's ceo he's he's like the and he's also one of the co-founders of stake so he made this statement saying that um, we'll have 51% of the English speaking live streaming viewership by April, 2024, and that the first 10% has already been achieved. That's not true. Like that is a bold face uh, lie. Um, and if you actually go into here oh, and go to kick, the- Kick lying about their growth. Where Who'd is the, thought? the I, yeah, I'm looking for the, the specific- time. Here it is. So not a surprise. So not stream, the last time. Stream charts uh talked about this and said uh basically can't confirm uh regarding 10%. If we take all platforms, and if you're not familiar with stream charts, stream charts is kind of like the the standard that a lot of uh companies I mean, use. And on, like on, honestly, like I don't I don't even really think you need stream charts. Just look look at their viewership. Like I don't really feel like their viewership is 10% of the fucking viewership. <laughs> Like, I, I, yeah, well, I mean, they basically said in here, they were like, if you take all of them uh, and all channels in English speaking in July, kick generated 4.05% from English live streaming hours watched. I can um, see that. Yeah. Like, and if you only counting and, and what I think is, is significant is they're saying they're basically, and, and kudos to them, like kudos to stream charts yeah, for doing this, right? I mean, you know, uh, is to go, you're only count. And if you're only counting Twitch and kick, then that's a wrong concept because you're talking about English live streaming and actually YouTube just had a thing that came out like moments ago where an article showed that uh, YouTube has actually surpassed Twitch for teens to go view gaming I saw content, that, yeah. um, which is big. Uh, that's, that's really big. But they're basically saying like you can't just compare these two. And if you are comparing these two, um, that you're the percentage of being the streamers hours watch generated only 7.34%. So this is not true. <laughs> was uh, yeah. just a flat out bald face lie. Um, on their stand all right their, their way to go uh, shocker steak eddie yep so uh yeah uh on top of that kick also this is coming from the, the staro but kick also shared an update um we talked about this a while back um which leads into kind of some of the things that may be not as true <laughs> as what we're hearing um which is that you know kick is buying creators yeah um and they're sharing and uh again uh um i think it was eddie right eddie was the one that, that talked about yeah. this um, yeah they were they were interviewing the the uh, the ceo eddie um but basically they're saying that uh he wanted too much money um that uh you know and that it seems like they were implying that 50 million was the number and then that basically kick is saying that um you know it couldn't meet that number or match that number um, but also too that uh, a lot has now come out saying that the the contracts that have been said that Kick is is putting out there, or well the streamers are putting out there isn't true. So for instance, XQCs that actually it really wasn't a hundred million dollars. Um, that it was less than a hundred million dollars, and that has that been confirmed? Uh, so is that that was train, that was just my interpretation no, of that? No, was no. Like, so train wrecks came out today um as well there's an article about train wrecks who is gotcha. uh, he's i don't know where he falls in the whole like uh C -suite I, know, I, think, I think he's like a co-founder yeah i don't know if, yeah, don't know like if he's a co-founder or if he is an, an advisory role or, or what but he kind of came out and said hey a lot of these lucrative deals 
that people are talking about and spouting about on kick uh with their deals are actually fabricated and that's actually hurting kick because what's happening is you've got which you know and he referenced doc is there nothing uh, against false advertising with this kind of shit well, the, the, the problem is, is that kick, it, yeah. kick themselves, <gasps> the one like it's not the ones that kick are coming out and saying it's the ones that the creators are then coming out and saying I got a hundred million dollar deal from kick, um, and then I don't know if they can go after kick for saying like hey like you're not shutting this down like you're not saying it's it, that's not true. Um, it should be right. part of their contracts and not be able to fabricate they, their fucking. They can't. I mean, they they can't. They can't go after Kick for not saying anything about it. But like, they can one hundred percent go after Kick for like promoting it. Yeah, one hundred percent. I if would they, think. Yeah. If they're if they're caught by anybody, base or if they're caught basically confirming that these people are coming over and they're not saying anything against the fact that like that's not their real contract. Yeah, uh, and that that's like, probably con- bringing terms. streamers. Yeah, because that's to it get is false advertising. To, yeah. To I mean, get, yeah, at higher contracts, right? Well, that's so. that's what and that's what Trainwreck is saying is that basically, right? In and and like this, for instance, which again, I think that Doc is actually a steal at fifty million dollars. To be one hundred percent, yeah, dude, like, that's think, that's what I was saying. Is I like, think I think that I think I would have went for a hundred million on him yeah. rather than XQC personally, but but what he is and that's saying, if that's if they paid xqc 100 million like right. i'm i'm that that's the biggest thing that came up with this whole entire thing was like i'm looking at it now and i'm like well did <laughs> did xqc actually get 100 million or did he just get a certain amount of num of, of money and then he got some like some kickbacks for yeah, doing i uh, you know d- doing gambling and shit you know because right. like that's the that's the biggest thing with that's that's been a huge deal recently is like everybody like Shaq. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but like Shaq's even like, hey, I might start streaming for a hundred million dollar deal. He's actually trying to get get uh, get like a well, deal yeah. from I mean these guys streaming services go, and shit. Go above and beyond even what yeah. athletes make, dude. Well, yeah. it's, well, so I mean, it's, they, it's they, just they, a breaking. It makes you wonder if Rice Gum was actually being truthful whenever yeah. he was discussing the contract that he turned down. One hundred percent. Because XQC man. was the first one to shoot down that Rice Gum was being like mm-hmm. not right. saying that it was true. Maybe. maybe he actually was and like Maybe. and like if, if it actually it was, if it, it ever was a lump sum and then he said the rest of it was going to be paid out based off of how many hours he spent hours uh, he spent, streaming yeah. and gambling they had yeah, a, a requirement gambling. for him to hit yeah yeah yep. and and that that would uh, that would honestly make sense because like if if it did come out ever that like xqc was was in on this and, and his, his contract deal wasn't actually 100 million he could get into trouble for it too like for false think, yeah. advertising with Definitely. that as well so it's just it's it's a really slippery slope and and like when it came down to like them like his exact words were uh let me see where it was i cover for me cover for me uh doc wants 50 mil and doc's not playing around with that number uh or no this was this was china Chinese, chinese i think this was this wasn't uh i the ceo whatever his name is this, this wasn't him doing the interview I don't know who China no, it's, is. He's the he's the head of product. Okay, head of product. Yeah. yeah. So Paul Pauly Chai, Chai, I'm probably butchering your last name. Chinese. That's what it looks like to me. We'll just call you Pauly. Uh, Pauly basically said that Doc wants 50 million, and he's he's firm on that, which he should be. Doc, 50 yeah. million yeah, for Doc worth. is like 50 million for Doc is like under underselling himself in my yeah. in my opinion. Like we've said, but he says I love I love the Doc. I've watched him for years and years. I think he's one of the most entertaining streamers in the business. But fifty million is fifty million. And I'm like, you're you're the company that's literally going out there on a daily basis, going, who wants contracts? Who wants well, contracts? Who wants contracts? You know. That's what I was gonna say about this whole thing too. Is that I think that this kind of points to a a a, a bigger thing of saying like this is why Twitch made it a thing of like you keep that qu- you keep those numbers quiet, yeah. right? Like you keep yeah, that well, number right. quiet because once you open Pandora's box, whether yeah. you lie or tell the truth. If you know once it, once you, it gets out that you're doing contracts, once it gets out that you're you're handing out contracts, everybody wants contracts. So it's it's like that old saying of like if you ever win the uh win the lotto, don't tell anybody that you won the lotto. Don't go out and start spending money like you won the lotto because once you do that, everyone's going. Yeah, I, I, wonder, I wonder if that had anything to do with Mixer's <laughs> demise too, because wasn't numbers coming out for Mixer's buyouts? Yeah, but Mixer wasn't really like going out there and being like, hey, here's a here's a contract for you, here's a contract for well, you. They were just buying it, people it, left and right. They were buying some big names though at first. They were really buying big names, but they some, weren't going out there. They weren't no, going out there on social right. media and being like, no. "Hey, who wants a contract?" You know, they, it was well, just it, it was the very back coming deals. out on social media though. They were, yeah, and yeah. that's that's not. So I was just thinking, you know, I'm 
rip mixer that <laughs> with their, yeah. their yeah. poor so it, it just it, it this this entire thing kind of made me question like if kick is actually doing as well as as they say well, they are so right? the other side of this the, the flip coin is that they just launched their kick first class um yeah uh, i don't know if you guys pay, saw that so hourly payout their hourly right shift. where they're where yeah. they're paying out um certain content creators they did a first wave of 50 and then they're going to do another wave of 50 then they're going to do another wave of 100 with the goal to add all affiliates um by i think 2025 is what they said um to it uh to where they're going to pay out creators so I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't know what your guys' thoughts on this. I mean, because again, we all thought this was kind of like I don't know if they're going to be able to do this or this is just. I still don't like sustain it. Yeah, yeah like, I still I don't, don't think it's sustainable at all. Like we've right. talked about it multiple times, and I don't really want to go over it yeah. anymore. I think be, it would be wrapped be up so many huge. times, but like, I think it would be a, huge. It would be huge. One hundred percent. It would be everything, dude. Be like big mix up in yeah, the that's streaming the big verse, question is, but, uh, is it sustainable? I don't think it's profitable or sustainable on their part. I. Yeah, I have no idea, honestly, on that on that side of things. Especially given the fact that they're only a what, like a five percent cut on on subs, right? Yeah, ninety five uh, five. Yeah, yeah ninety five five. So like yeah. with five percent, they're paying out a lot of money. You yeah, you're paying you're out a ton of money. In a lot and, of money. And yeah, it, you know again, what, you know we've, we've talked about them. it being we've talked about it being a, a, a what's an advertising you know an advertising I uh, platform Scheme. for them yeah. for for stake and everything like that, but like. <laughs> yeah, but you know, what, know, you know man. what that allows that what allows to now happen, <clears throat> which I didn't think about until recently, is that if they go down that route, there's laws that are set in place based on how many tax breaks and what tax breaks you're able yep, to yeah. get based on employees. And because of the way that donations and subs work, they don't fall under that category. That falls under, yeah. I believe, if, if it's charitable and charitable donations and organizations. Charitable donations, yeah. And employees. If stake is swings this way and go, or if kick swings this way, that's a and whole other side. Of go things, now they get a tax break, which right now per employee under a certain amount you can get. I think it's up to one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars per employee over a two year time frame. Like again, I, I, I don't. I'm, we're this is we're not financial advisors. We cannot get like this is not financial right. advice. But that now they just put fifty people on on payroll. You know what I mean? Like this this now becomes a fifty people payroll. That's a tax True. deductible. That is. You know taxable yeah, income true but the the only the only other problem with that is the like and, and the reason why twitch gets away with it is because everybody like all affiliates and all partners are contractors essentially right instead right, of employees the, which an hourly an hourly pay would would have to be under a, an employee i would imagine at least well they, they could still put it under um, a contract but the but it falls under that charitable organization which is doesn't deem as many tax breaks as a full-fledged corporation yeah. does well what, what i was what i was trying to say is like you've you've at that point you've got to like if they do have to label them as employees rather than contractors or or uh or whatever you want to call it you've got different employee laws per state per continent well that's true yeah. <laughs> yeah. i mean does that mean that so i now get if this comes to me do i get health benefits through kick or state yeah, or whatever? that's that's the big is like over over in the uk <laughs> you've got you've got stuff that's like they have to provide a certain amount of i uh, of healthcare per employee you've got you've got like different i uh, i uh, what's called an employment practices that you have to follow like my state personally is an at will employer state so like yeah. they can just fire you for whatever but like california you have to have reasonable cause and then even even after reasonable cause you still have to do like several warnings and if you don't follow that and you you terminate them like you can get in a shit ton shit ton of trouble for that like yeah. it's just, it just opens up a pandora's it's, box for it yeah Again, the streaming landscape is wild right now, guys. And that's um, that, that's why that's why I just don't understand how like how it's feasible. But it, the other side it's, it's big. With Kick, uh, this came up. Um, this actually came up uh earlier on, but this is during our break. Um, Kick has got some <laughs> security concerns. Um, I don't know if they've officially I don't, I don't think they've, they've officially addressed this. this. Yeah. Um, but essentially, uh what was going on, um, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I know Enigma, you're the one that found this, was basically that they could you, it was they so, could, go ahead yeah yeah so so essentially what happened was was this there was a there was some people i don't know if they were gray hat hackers or if they were just six security cybersecurity agents of some sort uh some people like to go into websites and like test their security features uh, a lot of people did it for twitch when twitch first started and twitch got in trouble for it because they had a lot of shit that they didn't really secure uh so essentially what happened was 
I, I think they found a couple of different situations that could that could ha- that could happen. One one of the biggest ones was like they could get into your system, I uh, through like uploading vaporware and like spyware and shit just like through, through the, your through the panels, right? <laughs> yeah, well, not yeah. just your va- your panels, but like through like the too, video. Yeah. yeah, through like your video stream. Uh, there was also oh, wow. some situations of like they could physically like go into the back end of the code and change up their display names and like how they are displayed on the, uh, on the actual uh, website. So like they could go in there and all of a sudden they could be like train wreck and they're right. not train wreck and they could start talking shit in your chat as train wreck essentially. I, uh, and there was just a, there was a couple of different things. It was, I think the biggest security concern was the one where they they found that you basically like you could inject code and you could inject spyware, malware, et cetera, et cetera, just through like live video feed sources, which is huge. That's that's very scary considering the fact that like they you, you'll never know about it until right. whatever they upload goes off, you know. Uh, and then the biggest the biggest concern was like they brought it up to Kick, and Kick's official response was like, "Oh yeah." we've got dedicated people that take care of this. Here's the, uh, here's the, the, the email address for our, uh, our bug, bug catching team. They didn't really even fucking address it. They were just like, yeah, whatever, man. It's, it's cool. We, we actively receive ports for reports for that. You know, it's, it's whatever. <laughs> so I don't know if they've actually like more uh, fully like addressed this yet or not. I I personally haven't seen anything addressed about it, but. Yeah, that's I mean, it, some at, of those some of those are crazy man like some of those are very scary it is scary uh, man i'm looking at uh any of this and I don't, i'm not seeing anything so far that's come yeah. out that says I mean, they, they have this so basically i know the two-factor i think but that's not really talking about that um, that's not gonna help yeah uh, so it's it's a i'm and, and again i i can't fault kick for it because again it's it's every every website has this kind of stuff you'll you'll have these uh gray hatters that go through and just kind of fuck around with your site code just to see what kind of uh, backdoor access and what kind of security concerns they can have and then usually usually if they're a good gray hatter if they're if they're a good gray hat they'll take that you know those security concerns to the company and be like hey, you might want to shore these uh these situations up because you know you're kind of opening yourself up to some fuckery but if they're a bad gray hat and and they don't do that then it, it's it's not good it's not good times no not at all <laughs> Thanks all for tuning in to the Patch Notes. And if you enjoyed and want to see more, you can catch us live every Thursday night at 10.30 p.m. Eastern. Or catch us after the fact at anchor.fm forward slash prepatchpodcast. See you next time.